It's unbelievable the number of families that really need help. Bridging the gap, providing a beacon of hope for green country families whose loved ones disappeared. Good evening, I'm Brian Sanders. And I'm Carol Larson. Thank you for being with us tonight. Two Works for you reporter Darcy Jackson talks with a volunteer group that just keeps growing. It's not very often that you'll find members of Bridging the Gap all sitting still in the same room. I only want to blow until the chest starts to rise. The group keeps busy finding more than 20 people around the area thanks to their efforts. Sunday, the group gathered in Tulsa to learn life saving techniques and welcome newcomer Marla Kelly to their ranks. It's, it's a lot harder than you really think, but it's, it's you put your mind into it and know what you're doing it for. Yeah. Kelly shares the same passion for finding missing people as her green country counterparts. Now she's ready to make a difference in her hometown, Lawton. It just takes somebody to care, somebody with a heart. You know, if it was your mother, if it was your son, if it was your brother, if it was your child, you'd be out there. Kelly's membership is a brand new concept. She'll be a team leader for the southwestern part of the state, leading searches right at home and allowing bridging the gap to cover more ground in Oklahoma. One thing that we've run into are there are a lot of cases that we would really like to be able to take. I think we're just going to push it hard and try to expand, you know, out so that there's never a family anywhere that someone goes missing and, and there isn't someone there to help them. Julie Penley says Southwest Oklahoma is just the beginning, and part of that expansion is the first aid skills members will take with them. Not only for the victim that we might happen to locate, but for the searchers themselves, this is something that that is just a necessity. So Kelly will head back to Lawton armed with training as well as a group backing her up when she answers the next call. I had to do it, you know, it's just a calling. And it's really exciting learning how Bridging the Gap originated and, and going to grow. Darcy Jackson, Two Works for You.